my rollover valve stem broke. There it is, right on top of the fuel tank. And so, um, place fuel tanks, 800 bucks plus time or labor, depending on how you do it yourself, or you get someone else to pay pay someone else to do it. Um, do it yourself. You're gonna uh, spend a lot of time dropping that tank or lifting that bed. And, uh, and it's gonna be a lot of aggravation as well. And it's gonna be heavy as anything because uh, most likely when it breaks, you're gonna have like a, probably a full tank of gas, I'm sure, because that's the way things roll. All right, so um, anyway, this is the piece that broke off. This is the piece I'm replacing. I'm replacing the same piece that broke off. I don't wanna buy a new tank. I'm looking for all cheaper alternatives. Um, some guy online on YouTube, I saw him do this. And so I'm just kind of making it my own. I'm taking this idea and making it my own. Uh, first of all, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some coffee. So make sure you get some nice, strong, hot, black coffee. And then uh, you're gonna need that piece that broke off. Hopefully you can you still have it. It's retained in your presence. If it's not, I'm, I don't know how to, to help you from this point. Um, what I did is I uh, went online. I bought the stainless steel tubing, okay? Uh, Amazon gave me two pieces. It's, uh, you need to find something that's um, four millimeters in diameter. That's, that's, that's the, that's the in interior circumference of this, four millimeters, okay? You're not going to find anything like that at the hardware store, most likely. This is especially the item. I went online, Amazon. Amazon has everything. Um, this, this tube, stainless steel, four inches in, uh, in, in diameter on the, uh, on the outside. So it fits on the four inches in diameter on the inside of this. Next, what I did is I got some, um, it was just a slightly loose in here. I wanted to make sure it was stable. Um, I was thinking about putting some epoxy on there. I decided against it. Um, I was gonna just, uh, I cut it to size by the way too. So I got this, I got what I needed. I put it in this little vice grip and I got this hacksaw and with a little bit of time and uh, patience, I, I cut through it. Um, uh, the, the, the end was a little bit jagged. So what I did is I got, I went to the concrete here and I just, I just, uh, you know, I just kind of smoothed it out on my concrete here like that. Okay. And all on the sides and everything. So now everything is nice and nice and smooth on the end. All right. So I'm going to put these out of the way. Uh, it was a little bit loose. I decided to go against putting uh, epoxy in there. Um, I figured I don't, I didn't know if it had the, uh, structural integrity, uh, over time. So, uh, what I did is I just got some uh, electrical tape. Uh, cut a little strip, went along the side. It seemed to have enough um, grip, so when I slid it in, it's in there real good. As you can see, look at that. Don't want to go anywhere. Don't want to go anywhere. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so uh, you kind of just determine how much of this you need, or if you want to go that route. That's just my advice. That's what I did. Just want to throw it out there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna crawl up underneath the truck. Right? Okay. So here's my truck, and here is where I fill in my gas. You're gonna have that hose. If you look up underneath the truck, you're gonna have that hose that fills up that 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 um that goes off the filler hose, and goes onto the top of the tank to the rollover valve. All right. So just to show you, I'm not gonna take off the bed of the truck. I'm not gonna drop the tank. If you look in there, right there, and it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see. That's the top of the tank. You see that little blue piece? That's painter's tape. I put a Q-tip in there and, um, and, and, and and covered it with painter's tape so that um, it could create some pressure so that check engine light would just go off. Um, it's a temporary fix though. You don't want to keep it like that because uh, you won't be able to fill up your fuel uh, efficiently because it'll keep shutting off because um, it's not that, that line's not connected. So anyway, uh, I'm going to take that off, of course, and then put that piece in and then put that putty over it. And then after 24 hours, I'll put the hose back on. Um, I know you want to see more, but I can't. I really can't show you very much more. I, I mean, I'm going to give you a couple of little, uh, uh, little extra Easter eggs here, but okay. So here's the end of the. Here's here's underneath. Let me just show you what I'm talking about with the, with the um. There you go. See. Okay. So there's where the fuel goes in. That's where you fill it up at the gas, uh, gas station, and then um, on the bottom with the painter's tape, that's where the hose connects to the top of the uh, fuel tank on the other side onto the rollover valve. Okay. Those two places connect. So I got that plugged up as well, but it, I, I don't think you can see up here. It's just not going to work. So anyway, I'm just going to sit up on my back. I'm going to reach my hand up over here into the top of the tank, and I'm going to do all the work like this, okay? I, I, I visualize it in my head, and I'm just going to let my fingers uh, uh, take care of the business, okay? And okay, 
this is as good as I can get to show you. So I went up on my back. I got, uh, uh, just, it's all tangible, you know, it's all, I'm feeling it. It's all like kinesthetic, um, feeling my fingers, trying to get that puzzle piece to, to go together. And, um, and, and I finally felt it kind of just lock into place where I couldn't rotate it. And there you go. So there, there it is right there. Okay. And, um, so you can see a little piece of, you can still see that metal sticking out at the end. Okay. The stainless steel sticking out a little bit in, at the ends for a little more integrity, but there it is. So it's in. So my job at this point is to go ahead and get that putty, that epoxy putty and, and form it over there and just, uh, kind of get, I'm going to get some painter's tape. I think I'm just gonna kind of tape it into place and let it sit for 24 hours and then I'm gonna put the line on, okay? But I'm gonna have to be mindful, remember, that um, I don't wanna put that putty too far up uh, so where it would become an obstruction for that hose to make clearance over that uh, edge, okay? So here I go. All right, there we go. Okay, so it's a little bit hard to see, but climbed up underneath here, reached up on top of the tank, uh, closest to the cab by that valve and I put that uh, stem in fit in like a little puzzle piece make sure it didn't rotate and then I um, I got that putty cut off the size of maybe like maybe about uh, three stack dimes together and then rolled it up you got yeah roll it up real good for about a minute for all the colors uniform on that gorilla putty epoxy and then I and I, I cleaned that surface real good beforehand with just like a shop towel right I didn't want to put any chemicals on it and then I um, uh, uh, formed the putty like a like a little mini log, and then just wrapped it around there and just kind of formed it. Okay, and now I'm just gonna let it cure for 24 hours, um, and uh, and then put the hose on, and hopefully we're good to go. All right, Steve with Texas Know How over and out.